Hey, Master of Speed, it's Terra Master, that's Justice, and we're here with the final Duelist of Shadows, Cope or Hope. All good things and all copy things must come <laughs> to an end. So we are here today with some hope or some cope. Find yeah. out. Could be either one. Who knows? Could be literally anything. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just jump right into our first game here. Air Master, again, forgetting this is a scissors meta. Like, this, you know, that's what happens when you don't competitively play all the time. <laughs> uh, so we are playing uh, on my side what Terra Master has dubbed uh, Room for Both. Which, <laughs> Exclamation tomorrow. Yes, I was going to say, which we'll explain more fully uh, during deck lists. Uh, and he is playing uh, a deck uh, of cards. In in, into the Gaia below. Yes. <laughs> Got there him. Go. There you go. Thank yep. you. In, into the Gaia below. Easy. <laughs> oh. And it just... should be pretty. It should be pretty self-explanatory just with the opening hand. You know, you see the you see the big fiend. You see the dark calling. You see the rock. Yeah. You, you should know. Easy. Yeah. Pitch the Easy. fiend. Draw a card. Amazing. Amazing. Look at this. Summon a rock. Send a rock. Wow, look at that. That's, 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 that's all it says. Don't worry about the specifics. <laughs> Fully set up. Everything's good. Everything uh, is yeah. good. I'm going to summon a cat. I'm going to set some back row. I'm going to swing. Big 1050. Shout out to you always attacking directly. Hell yeah. We're going to pitch another fiend. We're going to draw another dark calling. Better make a phone call. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> oh, like, not, not yet. yet. First, we're gonna rock. Okay. Then it's time oh, to make a call. Exactly. It's like, hello, yes, graveyard? Yeah, can I speak to Dark? The graveyard is like, yeah, sure. Uh that'll <laughs> be are you are you prepared to accept the charges of <laughs> one rock and one fiend monster? Yes, that's Okay, fine. like quick side note though. Yes. What percentage of our audience do you think actually knows what like calling collect even is at this point? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. yeah, very low. Uh, uh, if you do, uh, leave a comment. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You're like, what are these guys talking about? <laughs> what are these boomers talking about? <laughs> hey man, you know what these boomers are talking about? All right, so zero grav, uh, one of Dark Gaia's uh, nemeses in this game. Yes. Floodgate, Floodgate Trap bad. Hole is your the uh, your nemesis <laughs> this game. Uh that choose to go direct sense. here. Just trying yes. to, you know, win the game. Trying to add do damage without actually clearing the board like a yeah. like a exactly. coward. Well the funny thing is though, is it's your own fault because you floodgated this one. Because if you didn't floodgate this one, I actually would have run over both of them. Yeah, but I didn't want you to do that. I wanted you right. to misplay well, and attack then, me. You know, then you're getting a direct attack. You, you, you get what you get. All right, we got two big monsters. Surely they'll be able to attack. Nope, we're gonna go three. I'm it's... going. I'm, I I saw book. I'm I'm not respecting wall anymore. Yep. What's better than two big monsters? Three big monsters. Exactly. What's better uh, than three big monsters? Three, Three uh, ladies in hoods. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's all it takes. That's why they're set. Oh, yeah, this is bad. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not looking too good. Yep. We're, we're in trouble here. This is probably your last damage. Ooh, that's a good draw, too. Goes for that. I'm going to book one Dark Gaia, so now that one's not a threat anymore. That one is at zero forever. Terra misorders his attack. So we're going to shrink to get the trade. I did, in fact, do that, but only because I wanted to use the effect to flip you back up when I attack with the Dark Guy. Yeah. So was it a misorder? I don't know. Yes. Find out <laughs> next time on Cope or Hope. Just kidding. There is no next time. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> Got him. Got and him. then I top deck, uh, not a Raging Flame Sprite. And I, I specifically said at this point, I was like, just draw Jujitsu Master. I'll attack it and get bounced. Yeah. And I was like, uh, <laughs> huh? And then I was like, it was a trick, you fool. <laughs> you shouldn't have drawn it. I can't believe my, you listened to me. 
Spy Monster has a special ability. <laughs> Why would you listen to your opponent? Never listen to your opponent. They are always no. lying to you. Even when they're exactly. not. They are. Even when they're not. Even when they're just bad at the game, they're still lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got a cat. We got back row. We got a direct attack. Why would I attack that monster? That would make no Why? sense. Attacking monsters is for like control players. Attacking like, monsters is so 2002. Like, too, seriously. Like, you don't need to do that around here. You're gonna draw a card. 1900 beaters is so 2002. <laughs> I just said, I don't want that. I'll take another card, please. Any other card, please. Yeah. So here I'm just like, all right, whatever. You know, it's not worth protecting here. Cat did what it needed to do. We got a banisher. This we got a huge massive. banisher. This thing is dark magician attack points. The ultimate banisher in terms of attack and defense. <laughs> well, not so much the defense, but <laughs> the, the attack, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not feeling great. We had two rocks banished at this point and Risking getting a third. Yep. And you know what's bigger than a Grand Marg? A boosted Banisher! Yep. Easy. Now we attack monsters. Room for Banisher is so good, it beats old Monarchs. Insane. I want you to remember that. Soul Exchange, very good draw. Very good draw, Soul very Exchange. Easy. Very dead. <laughs> very dead. Uh, your last two monsters are going to go into a Dark Calling. It's a Dark yep. Gaia. It's 3200. I, I, I used the last, my last two quarters on a call. <laughs> it's a widespread ruin. We have been ruined. It's a game two being over. Widespread ruined game two. Widespread ruined game two. <laughs> it is confirmed. Uh, yeah, uh, that's going to be funnier to us than it will be to people watching this, but it was yes. very funny. Trust. Trust. JDG inside beeps. Yeah, yep. We we have public memes and then we have private memes. Yes. <laughs> this is a private meme. Oh, he's gonna make me go first. Uh as you can see, I've got uh I've got some back row. You've got the perfect hand against Jinzo, I think. Yes, yes, against Jinzo yeah. I just auto win. Yeah, 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 yeah. And as do I actually. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a Zoma! Oh no, a limit one card. Disgusting. I do enjoy that I actually like forced you to floodgate a jujitsu master. That was pretty funny. Yep. I hated it. I sat there and thought about it, but I was like, I can't. I can't just let you hit yeah. me for twenty two. So Yeah, no, that one was funny. I enjoyed that. Like, alright, well Zoma goes in. Uh and then you can activate uh Zoma Tornado. Yeah, I was okay with this. This is this is a good trade. You're just destroy you're one this. Zoma the Spirit on the field? Yes. Search your opponent's deck, field, or graveyard for the limit one card. Destroy <laughs> it. Yes, I said graveyard. I don't know why. Sure, why not? Uh, and then destroy it. Destroy it while it's in the graveyard. <laughs> destroy it again! <laughs> uh, then another floodgate, because you're a cheater. This is where I was getting concerned. Like, oh my god, now I have two... And, okay, here's there. my first misplay of the game. Ah, uh, yes. I finally yep. drew my first playable monster. I will discard it. I will discard it to draw... A not monster. Oh, look, See it's that? Floodgate. Yeah, you yep. have all three Floodgates in the top eight cards of your deck. What is this? It's insane. This is what it is. What kind of cheats is this? So I'm like, all right, maybe it's we a deck it. out We game. drew a Fiend. <laughs> At this point, I'm like, I don't know if I'm playing for deck out or what. <laughs> okay. That's Discard. good. That one worked out. We, we got a playable one. I'm just like, yeah, that can die. It's Floodgated. I'm not trying to protect it. Yep. And then we have a Banisher of the Radiance that gets hit by Floodgate number three because Terra Master cheats. Ooh. Actual cheats. I'm so good at Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, here, where, where are your face downs right now? Uh, all gender yep. killers. Here's where if I was actually a god, I would have just summoned Jinzo and won the game. However, Oh, being yeah, bad at the game. I went for Grandmar. <laughs> I went for Grandmar because I was like, surely there was a shrink or a book down there. There was not. Yeah. There was, in fact, not. Yeah, so, I mean, for those who don't see why Jinzo wins the game, you Jinzo and then you're Dark Calling. It's, yeah. it's yeah, very, it's a very easy <laughs> win. Yeah. 
Yeah. But uh, Terry Master's a nice guy, you know, he wanted to uh, let me win instead. <laughs> yeah. And now it's time for misplay number two. We're going Whoa. to a dark guy. Which is, once again, do not summon Jinzo. Yep. And then you, misplay you could number have three. just tribute for Jinzo and then dark calling for the second. Yes. Oh, no, you only had fiends. I only had fiends. I couldn't yeah, have done yeah, it again, yeah. but yeah. But misplay number three is using the effect here. Yep. Yep. That was that was really bad. You got very greedy for damage. Very greedy. So now Vanisher's in face-up attack position. Now during battle step, we book. And suddenly I'm in a much better spot. So uh, this video will be titled uh, Random Nerd Doesn't Know How to Play Card Games <laughs> Tries Anyway. <Yeah. sighs> we, uh, you room for growth for intimidation every time. Why attack for 16 when you can attack time. with 2500? All right, surely Terra Master knows what to do this time. Well, the funny thing is now Jinza doesn't save you anymore because I have the shrink down. It doesn't, yeah. <laughs> yeah, at this point I was like, yeah, I, I think no matter what I do, I'm kind of going to lose here, so. No, well, we're going to zero gravity. Seems pretty good. Might as well. I, I was saving the Jinzo at this point in case I top deck soul exchange. Ah. Uh. But uh, it, did, it, did, it didn't look like it's happening. It could happen. It could happen. There's only seven cards left in your deck. Only seven. That, that, mm -hmm. that is not what that looks like. Surely this attack will work every time against three back row. Yep. Now, to be fair, and while watching this, be like, well, why would you shrink there? Well, because I didn't know he had Genzo in his deck. If I knew that, that shrink would have stayed put. And I would have used, you know, Wobble Goo. Anyway. Yep. Uh, but I was also saying, well, if I shrink, I might just be able to win the game if I top deck a monster. So... That was the thought process. Yeah. Bam. Easy. Oh, got the cat. Easy game. I wasn't going to draw soul exchange anyway. It didn't matter. Yep. Uh, yeah. So yep. you played perfectly. Uh, obviously. Yes. <laughs> Always do. Um, yeah. And uh, cats win games. Cats, cats do be winning. And that's why we got the super rare print of Amethyst Cat. Exactly. Specifically for this deck. Room well, for both. It was Raging Cat. But yes. Room for both. Okay. For those who don't know, it was actually Raging Cat that is probably the reason why we got the super rare Amethyst Cat. So if you like the super rare Amethyst Cat, you know who to thank. And if you like to see the deck lists, for these two decks, you know when to come back to the channel, which is tomorrow. Oh. Woo. We did it. All right. That's it. So I'll see you tomorrow. But until then, Terra Master and Justice, we're out.